Across America, landowners are using crops, trees, and grasses to remove carbon from the atmosphere and store it in their soil. The process is called soil carbon sequestration, and it's a win-win solution to climate change that reduces atmospheric CO2 while increasing soil fertility. The catch is that landowners don't have a cheap, efficient way to measure the carbon that they capture in their soil, though researchers at the University of Illinois are working hard to build them a tool that can do just that. In the old methods, uh, not, not only would you need to collect the soil samples uh, from the site, you need to take that back into the lab, you need to process it. Uh, for each sample, that, each sample alone, discounting the preparation time, takes about 15 minutes per sample. And, uh, and you can see that just by just doing the math, that you're not going to get a lot of samples uh, over several days uh, by doing this. As a soil scientist, uh, I've been very frustrated because the methods we use, many of them were developed uh, as much as 100 years ago, 70 to 100 years ago, and only refined a little bit in terms of made, made more rapid and uh, uh, tested a bit more. I really feel that we need to use cutting edge modern electronics and physical uh, and biological technologies to um, really understand, characterize the soil and get the questions answered that we need answered. For this project, cutting edge means burning the soil with a laser and measuring the colors of light released by the flame. If a soil contains carbon, that carbon releases a specific color of light when burned. By measuring that light, you can measure the amount of carbon in soil. This technique is known as laser-induced spectroscopy. It has the potential to be a fast, accurate, and portable replacement to current methods of measuring soil carbon. Hopefully, we can make a, develop a fuel portable unit that would allow us to go out into the field and sample both the surface and, and in-depth uh, soil sites uh, over large areas of, of, uh, of a field. We, we estimate that uh, the, uh, the sampling at each point would uh, only require about uh, 30 seconds. The project has benefited from the diverse expertise and equipment available at Illinois. The project's third investigator, Nick Glumack, is an expert in spectroscopy. He's built much of the equipment himself, giving the team a tailored edge over other laboratories. We, we need uh, uh, people who are experts in uh, ground penetrating radar. Uh, we need people that can develop uh, machines that would allow us to uh, penetrate the soil with our fuel portable uh, sensors. We need uh, a uh, really a multidisciplinary approach uh, to this problem. And, uh, the resources are here at the, at the UI. If the team is successful, the Soil Carbon Analyzer will have a broad impact on society. First, it will help us calibrate our soil carbon sequestration practices, meaning we can better fight global warming. Second, it will hopefully be able to analyze other vital soil elements, like nitrogen, which will help our farmers grow food more efficiently. For now, it's a source of pride and excitement for the three researchers and their sponsor, the Environmental Change Institute at Illinois. I harbor a, uh, a deep desire to do environmental uh, work. Uh, I've always wanted to do it, and, I, and this really is the first opportunity I've had. I think because it has uh, potential to help people achieve multiple benefits in uh, storing carbon, it uh, is really uh, a fundamentally important question that we need to uh, move forward on.